Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. And I tell you what, this is a matchup I didn't think I'd see. Dennis McCann and Frankie Stringer. I mean, it's like the boxing Ant and Deck going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we've been together for 10 years now. And we've known each other the last 10 years, trained together for years. Um, I, took him, I took him back under my wing, you know what I mean? So, uh. Is that right, Frankie? Yeah, he has, he has. And he, he trains hard, so it's good to be training alongside him, to be honest. Obviously, I'm guessing that the, the amateur scene, you've been together maybe in the England squad and, and whatnot, so you do know each other inside and out. So when you came up to, to Liverpool and made that transition from London to come up to Liverpool, what was was it a hard decision, difficult decision to make to come all the way up here? Well, listen, of course, I've got to leave everything behind uh, all my family and that, but... I just moved straight up here. I got four or five fights booked in this year, you know. So, um, do you want me to make a job easier? I'll hold that for you. Uh, yeah, so I got four or five fights booked in this year. So I just thought, why not just move straight down? Um, yeah, get the ball rolling. I've got a very active year, so I'll be in camp all year. We do know that you've got a fight lined up against a scouser. So you're an honorary scouser right now in Bradley Strand. Um, I think you said to me he just lives down the street there, so he's not far from this gym. Um, yeah, a good good fight for you. A very, very solid fight. Bradley Strand is a very, very solid opponent. But um, being that you're so close to him and you're in Liverpool right now, um, is this like a local derby for you? Yeah, it is, you know, but um, the scousers love me as well, do you know what I mean? So. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold the scousers love him, Frankie? Some do, some don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, listen, it's no hard feelings. It's another opponent, you know. Mm-hmm. He's a nice guy, to be fair. So, but um, yeah, so I think I'm going to do a good job on him. You know, obviously, you're in and out there. This, the Liverpool boxing scene, you know, Bradley Strand and all that. You've also know Dennis McCann. How good a fight is this, Frankie? It's a very good fight. I said that to him. I said that to him. It's going to be a good, good half fight for him. But I can see Dennis beating him. But. I've known him for years. He's boxed me, me, me big brother in the amateurs. He's he was a good amateur. He, he's he's unbeaten as a pro, so it will be a good, good win on Dennis's record. Obviously, you've had a good 2023 coming up. You know, uh, 2024. What we hoping for with yourself? I know Dennis has got a, a date lined up. Well, four or five dates it seems lined up. But for you, Frankie, what what's next for you? The same as him. As busy as possible, four or five fights. Maybe, maybe hope for a little title for the end of the year. End from. of the year. End of the year. Push a little central area or. Beefy, Beefy's look, looks after me, so he, he'll, he'll keep me busy again this year. You know I'm smoking Beefy tomorrow, but sparring again tomorrow. You know I'm smoking, I'm lighting him up, right? my fault, that. He, he come in, I sent him the text and he come in right away for you, so that was my fault. No, listen, you've probably done me, no, uh, you've done me in there because I'm going to get dropped again by that body shot. I don't know if you've seen it, Dennis. I sparred him, yeah, Beefy. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't talk about that because I'm coming for the rematch. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm on his tail. I'm, I've got... Frankie, as I said, as he said he might get a something area hopefully at the end of the year, mm. or even like a WBO youth title or something, a youth title or something like that. Can I ask you, you, you like you've known Frankie, right? A lot of people might not know who Frankie is, but I've seen him box a couple of times. He's a very, very good box. I've seen him box uh, sparring as well, and I like this style, the way he approaches the game. He's very, very good. But for people that don't know who Frankie is, you said you've known him for ten years. How good is he? How far can he go? He's very good. I think he can go all the way. He just um, he's got to keep discipline to keep in the gym. I'm pushing him hard in the gym as well. Yeah, I'm on yeah. the, I'm on his tail. But I think he can go all the way. I see him sparring Pierce O'Leary and great, you know what I mean? Great sparrows. Um, world class sparring that was. And I've seen you know what I mean? sparrows, world champions and stuff like there and holds his own, you know. So he's doing, he's doing really good. I think he can go all the way. There yeah, you what though, Dennis. I watched you do that sort of circuit with, with Joe. It was bag work, pad work, bike setups. You name it, you were doing it for 12 solid rounds. I think you had about a 30 second rest in between it. So th- there's nobody's going to question your fitness coming out of this gym. You see me do how hard I've been training. I mean, I've been in camp all Christmas, you know. So I'm, v- I'm fit now. I'm actually very, very fit now. Show you time as well. They were fo- they were four minute rounds. Mm. Them not three minutes, twelve four minute rounds, and it's hard. 
Do you know what I mean? I'm fit as a flea. I'm fit now. I'm ready to rock and roll, mate. Fit as a flea, but you're scared of horses. I'm scared of horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst traveller you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, what, what's, the, what's, what's, what's the hope for you then? Obviously, Bradley Strand's a good sort of opponent. After sort of your last fight, um, it was a coming of age fight sort of thing, with Baluta, I believe. You, you needed that fight. You needed to go through that adversity. Every single young fighter that's coming through, you can get these easy fights and, and stuff like that, but you need the fights that cause adversity, and you've passed that. Although the result might have not gone your way, let's say, but you're back in the deep end again against somebody like Bradley Strand. So you've passed those tests. What kind of Dennis McCann? going to turn up come uh, I think it's March is it is that right March yeah, yeah what, what, 16, what, March, March 16th what, kind of, what, what Dennis McCann's going to turn up on March 16th I think it's going to be the best Dennis the Menace you've ever seen because even that last fight to be fair everything was against me if, if he was there it was like 44 degrees in there it was the hottest day of the year in the UK no point making excuses mm. it is what it is you know I'm, I'm my biggest world critic I'd love to say this that uh, measure the ring on fight day 17 fight, do you know what I mean I don't, I don't even think that's legal Everything was against me, uh, oversold by 600 people in your call. But listen, that's, that's, that's boxing, you know. I was winning the fight before the head clash and stuff like there. But it, listen, it is what it is, and, and, and a big learning fight for me. And um, uh, we've got big Joe, Joe Macca behind you there. <laughs> the guru. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think that you, I've got a lot of experience in that fight, you know. He, he ain't fought no one at all. But Luke was beat world champions, everyone, do you know what I mean? Mm. I, Take Brad Strand out, and I'm going straight for Bluetooth, straight back. That's, that's good to know. But like I said, every young fighter, like Frankie, probably would look at you and be like, every young fighter needs to go for that adversity. You need to know how a fighter deals with a head clash, deals with a cut. That'll put him in good stead. Exactly. That'll put him in very good stead no, for this fight. Man, the, the, the blood was, no, I mean, no cut, man. Not, not, the blood was in my eyes 24 7. You've experienced that early on in your career, so you, that's going to put you in, in very good stead, to be honest. Have you used to spot each other? Oh, I spotted on Monday. Spotted on Monday? Yeah, we spotted years ago, but like, it was. Many kids with me. I might just stay in like, Liverpool for the next couple of days and witness this, see what's going on. I whooped his, his ass years ago, you know what I mean? So. Frankie. He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least he's honest, isn't he? Uh, one, one final one, I'll, I'll put this to, to you, Frankie, because um, we, we know Dennis has got a, a good fight coming up, but for you, looking at 2024, obviously this lightweight division uh, is a marquee division domestically, world level and whatnot, but exciting division to be in, but the roadmap for 2024 with you, Joe, Mark and Deck. What's the roadmap looking for in 2024? Looking like in 2024? Try and get four fights at least. And every time, step the opponents up, harder opponents. And then by the end of the year, I do, I do want to push on for titles and start getting my name out there, letting people know who I am. Because I know I'm good enough to do it. So people will start seeing, seeing soon. Good stuff. And who are you supporting tomorrow, Beefy or me? You, I'm going to help you tomorrow. I'm on your team you. as well. Yeah. You'll get it, Beefy. There's a team of girls. Let's go. Listen, Dennis, absolute pleasure to speak to you, man. I'll hopefully, I'll be it down at that fight. I'm going to try and come to a couple of London shows. And Frankie, always a pleasure, big man. But Birmingham, so it is, so it is. I'll be. No excuses. Uh, no excuses. Glasgow and Birmingham, oh, still a long way. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now.